Cody. Well, I caught it, Crick, in 1987. I pulled their hair. I went to Arizona State, 2.52 GPA. Thank you. C's get degrees. Very smart. The Asian kids would cheat off me. I got back at them. I cheated off them. Unfortunately, it was in driver's head. What is it, Santa Claus here? I'm not saying I'm the greatest comedian, but you know what? There's something there, and you got to be supportive. You know, we're taking all these shows from Great Britain. We put them on the team. We put them on the shows here. Why don't we create some American comedy and send it over to London and show them what it's all about? That's what I'm saying. If you don't believe me, that's fine. But I'm not going to change the way I feel. I've done 2,000 audience warm-ups of television. I was on Chelsea this week. She already booked me again. She texted me. I hang out with Bradley Cooper. I'm from Reseda, and I drove a Pinto, and I got greasy skin. Let me enjoy this night. I hang out with Dice. I want to help you guys. Where are you from? You're from France. Keep it going for Air France, yes. You guys speak English? What brings you here to America? Family. I get chicks. Hold on, wearing shorts, I know. Let me sit down. Let me just talk to you for a second. At least I'm being real. You know, a lot of comedians lie. I'm honest about everything. You know, I I, I, flip, I said I had a gun on Twitter uh, about nine months ago. My friends called the cops on me. And the cops took me out of my apartment. They threw a, they threw a sham wow on my crotch. I punched two holes into it and turned it into a Snuggie. 17 days in the UCLA psych ward and I made it out. Can't I come up here and feel like a celebrity one night? Are you that selfish as an audience? To where you can't go, you know what, I'm going to give this guy laughs and let him have a good time because he's on Conan O'Brien tonight. Because he's on Chelsea tonight. Because he sleeps on an air mattress. Because his father and parent and mother got divorced because of him. I walk in this crowd, I see the couples, I see the families, I see the money. You think I got big money? I don't. I don't have big money. I don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have cable. Nothing bundled. Except me in the fetal position on an air mattress on top of a futon. And it's depressing, literally. The air mattress needs to be patched <laughs> so I can do comedy. But my legs are tired because I've been editing all day. What? Zap. Easy. <laughs> Stick to the laugh. Not to the Q&A. Yes, editing a show that's about me having a breakdown. 17 days in the UCLA psych ward. I was celebrating. I went to Ireland and did shows. I went to Montreal and did shows. I hosted TMZ right there. Harvey was on vacation in Cancun on a secret cruise. And they said, Br <laughs> and they said, Brody. See, I do longer sets normally. You know that? You know, we do 15 minute sets here, but when I on the weekends I do fifth, I'll do like an hour in the main room. I close out. I do the same Kinnison spot. Uh, if you're uh, June 21st, if you're going to be in Omaha, Nebraska, I'll be having a show there on June 21st. June 19th, I'll be back on Chelsea lately. Thank you. Tomorrow, I'm getting a physical. <laughs> So beginning at 11 o'clock, I have to fast, fast for 12 hours. So I, you know what? 
I had a Red Bull and a five hour energy, so I'm jittery from that, number one. Number two, I'm gonna vilify Lexapro and Depakote. Depakote because I said I had a gun on Twitter and I have to do whatever the doctors tell me to do, at least for another few months, and say I won't attack anybody at Starbucks or front kick anybody in the parking lot here at the comedy store, <laughs> which happened on more than one occasion. But when you stop your meds cold turkey, you can freak out. And that's what I did. Stop my meds cold turkey and went manic and freaked out Marilyn Manson. He couldn't handle me. Gary Shandley couldn't handle me. I was giving him new kind of comedy. You know what could handle me? This crowd. Give yourselves a nice hand for letting me be me. Letting a person be himself. As a collective group uniting together and going, you know what? This guy, let him celebrate. His parents are divorced. He grew up in the valley. He drove a Pinto. His sister was abusive. He does have jokes. You saw, I, I have jokes. I just didn't really want to do them. I wanted to just like be myself. And you let me do that. And hopefully it, it didn't bring the show down. I don't think it did. I think it opened your eyes up to something new and different. And we talk about new and different stuff. Let's be new and different and have pride in the state of California. Give it up for America. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Hangover one, in it. Hangover two, in it. Hangover three, it's happening. Will I be in it? Possibly. But tonight is a night that matters more because I live in the now. I don't think about the past. That causes depression. I don't think about the future. That causes anxiety. I think about the now and I take a vilify. Ten milligrams every morning because I said I had a gun on Twitter. And you know I didn't have a gun. But when you say that, your friends freak out and they call the cops. And you spend 17 days in the UCLA side board and you write a one-man show about it. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah, I get it. I'll be in Omaha. June 21st. Tone in tonight. I already taped it up six weeks ago, so I know right now. All right, thank you. I already did it. That's how TV works. That's how it works. The Conan O'Brien you're going to see tonight, if you see it, I shot it six weeks ago. It's called In the Camp. I'm not mad at you guys. It's just, and I think you get it. All right, who's next? I know who's next. <sighs> Hyperventilating. Oh, the Aryan guy doesn't like me. Guy from Orange County. Where are you visiting from? Yeah, you. Beverly and Rossmore. Who? L.A. You're old school L.A., right? See, I get it. I went to Reseda, and I got picked on a lot. I got touched <laughs> by a guy who kind of reminds me of you. Might have been me. Yeah, you, know, you are a little bit of a sicko. But they caught the guy, all right? So I know it's not you. Guy got six years in prison. He should have got three years, but they doubled the sentence. Why? Why? Because I was molested in a construction zone. <laughs> That's what happened. Some people don't get it. All right, the next guy is very funny. He's a favorite here. He's crushing it all over. You've seen him on TV. Ladies and gentlemen, my buddy, Mr. Justin Martindale. Let him hear it.